about something briefly. I will do a quick show and tell on it. It is Instagram related. Then we'll open it up, get to as many questions as we can. Um, and some of you guys have probably heard me talk about this in the past, but it's this notion of the turning buying questions into selling conversations. Okay. And in my experience, a couple of truths. One, every single solitary one of you gets these on a somewhat regular basis. Two, almost everyone is terrible at turning them into selling conversations. A, you don't like selling. B, you don't like looking like a salesy kind of a person. Uh, C, you would rather have somebody do the salesy conversations and questions for you. Um, so I think it's a skill set that everybody needs to work on. Everyone needs to get better at. And really the takeaway is when you have someone that express interest in your work, don't just say thank you and take it as a compliment. Attempt to start a conversation that would potentially lead uh, into what we call a selling conversation. And there's obviously an amazing way to do this on Instagram. So I want to show that, talk about some of the ramifications on that. Uh, it's a topic that's top of mind. I just recorded a podcast episode on it. So you can also listen to that one too, but I'm gonna give you guys all a brief version of it here today. Um, how to turn buying questions into selling conversations. They happen digitally, they happen in the real world, they've happening throughout your entire career, they will happen for the rest of your career, so very important to get good at it. What are examples of buying questions? Okay, and I realize that on the true definition of a question, they're not all questions, I just call them buying questions. You're gonna have to just get past the grammatical, uh, 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 grammatical laziness there. Um, your work is so beautiful. What an incredible piece. I love this. What was your inspiration? This piece is amazing. It reminds me of such and such. Uh, you should start a business. Are you selling your art? All of those are examples of buying questions. Those people are expressing a genuine interest in your art and your job is to just open the conversation at that point. Open the conversation, okay? It's, it, is, it is a lost skill set and I feel like in today's digital world that we live in, you know, everyone tries to hide behind the wall that is their website, right? Or hide behind their digital marketing. Well, just go to my website, check out, do the thing. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to actually get on the phone with somebody. I don't want to have a Zoom chat with somebody, right? Like if it happens face to face, maybe it's a little bit different. But I'll tell you, in a perfect world, I might get in trouble for saying this, it would be my preference that 100% of the sales that you guys make as artists, you're on the phone with that person or you're in a Zoom with that person. You're getting to know that person, right? Like whether it's a phone call, whether it's face-to-face, -face, uh, whether it's any and all of the above, because I'm telling you, uh, 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 nothing more beneficial than having a conversation with uh, uh, your buyers, your potential buyers, and your collectors. It's it's like the biggest thing ever. And you know, I told I told the story in the in the podcast. Um, so if you've listened to it, apologies for the redundancy. But I was hanging out with one of my friends this weekend, and extremely well-to-do human being. He's made a ridiculous amount of money and his wife has been a, like a long-time friend of mine, whatever. Went up to his house and I noticed he had a, yet a second George Kondo piece on his wall, right? And George Kondo's pieces, if you don't know who he is, they're a lot of money. I think they were like, start at $3 million or something ridiculous. I didn't ask him how much it cost because it would have been rude, but whatever, I know it's a lot. And I dived in, He, you know, he's buying these pieces to diversify, but it turns out he and his wife who are now George Kondo collectors, have gone and met the artists like four or five times. I've had in-depth conversations with them four or five times. The most effective thing that you can do is have a conversation, start the conversation with uh, prospective buyers, buyers, repeat buyers, and collectors. Okay, done with that rant. So when you get these types of buying questions, your work's incredible, what an amazing photograph. Oh my gosh, the colors on that are stunning. It reminds me of such and such. Your job is just to start the conversation, not reply with thank you, not accept the flattery and say you're awesome, uh, uh, not just take it as a compliment, not respond with a pray hands emoji, okay, and not respond with three hearts or anything like that. Instead say, thank you so much, just to let you know that one's for sale. Just to let you know I've got that piece available in my shop that comes in small sizes all the way up to big sizes. Just to let you know I'm running a sale in a couple of weeks and that piece is gonna be in there. You know what? That 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 piece reminds me you of, of, of where you got engaged. I'd love for that thing to be on your wall. Make me an offer. It doesn't even really matter what you say. 
doesn't matter what you say in the slightest. It's just that you open the conversation. It's just that you open the conversation and see where it goes from there because you need to know. You need to know whether these people that are complimenting you on your work are just being nice people. We love nice people, okay? I love nice people, but at least then you know, right? You know that they were just giving you a compliment to be nice. They're not interested in purchasing the work. Uh, 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 you need to know how they found out about you. As a marketer, I'm always asking that. Like when you get those questions, oh, how, where did you see my work? How did you find out? You know, especially in the digital context, very important to ask those questions. They might love what you're doing, but actually want a commission of something else. You started the conversation. So I think it's an incredibly important skill set. I think more and more people need to practice it more often. I think by and large, most artists are not good at it. Most photographers are not good at it. And it's my firm belief that that more conversations that you have, everything in your business changes for the better. That's it, that's what I would say. So what's a way that we can do that digitally that is utterly, totally, and completely awesome by leveraging the fact uh, that Instagram copies verbatim the Chinese communist platform TikTok. Well, I wanna show you, I want to teach you, okay? Because this is incredibly powerful. I've talked about this before. If it's redundant for you, I apologize, but most people don't know what it is, okay? And I'm going to share my screen in a second, but it has to do with the fact that you can respond to comments on reels with additional reels, okay? In layman's terms, somebody can leave you a comment on a video you created and you can respond with another video. Okay, I've showed this on here before. Most of you have probably seen it. Some of you probably not. You're all about to see it again. But I think the subtlety here is so, so important. And the subtlety is just this. When you get a buying comment, okay? And if you don't have any comments, I want everyone on here to throw one else's Instagram account in and fake them until we get there, okay? I will leave the damn comment, buying comment in your post. Just tell me. All right, because I want everyone to do this and be everyone to be prepared to know how to do this. So I literally want people to start doing this in real time after I show it. So we need to think of a system of everyone just throw Instagram handles in there and leave comments like crazy. Um, because I want literally everyone to do it. But here's the thing. You create a reel responding to a buying question, okay? You let that person know that that thing is for sale. Then... The person that left the comment is notified that you did that. In addition to that, everyone else that follows you on Instagram and sees that reel gets to understand that you, that you are available for sales, that this piece is for sale, and it's kind of a way to hack social proof into what you're doing. Meaning this person, so this person that I've been following, people are interested in his work. Whoa. I better get my button gear and go buy that thing. Works especially well on the originals, but it's also just, it's just like a, 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 it's social proof, okay? It's social proof. And the beautiful thing is, is that once you get a couple of these in there, once you get a little bit more comfortable at this, and admittedly, it, you know, it takes some getting comfortable with, you know, but the, the good news is like, you can do it in your language, your tone. Okay, me, would I go for the jugular? Yeah, I probably would, but that's me. I'm a loud mouth, you guys know what I am. You guys can do it subtly in your own way as long as you make these people aware that the thing is available, okay? Uh, 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 it comes in different sizes and that you'd be happy to talk about it. So I want all of you just understanding how to do this, being comfortable with this, being aware of this functionality, understanding as we go into Q4, uh, it can be more and more valuable. And again, like when you when you respond to one of these, okay, when you respond to one of these, uh, you save the reel is saved in your feed and the reel is saved in your reel section, right? So when an image is a part of it, right? Like when it when it's when an actual piece is a part of it and you record the response, then you can go back to the well again and again and again and again. Meaning Let's say you've got a photo of, of the Harbor Bridge in Sydney, right? Beautiful Australia. You can screenshot that thing with your phone, okay? Respond to the comment in green screen, right? And then you have the actual image of the piece behind you and this person's comment that they're interested in it. Then you can hold that. And then when you're having a sale a couple of months down the line, you can post that reel in the stories again. So you can take the comments of people interested in your work from six months ago and use it in the sales coming six months from now, right? Which is a powerful, powerful thing. So 
I am going to pull one up. I'm going to show you guys how it all works, just in, 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 the, in the sense that maybe some of you don't know how it works and you've never done it before. i got to share this thing. I forgot. Hold on. Hey, Pat, I'm putting something into practice. Some, some of the customers have been putting their IG handles mm -hmm. in the chat. Mm -hmm. So I'm dropping comments for them to practice right now what they're about to learn, okay? Okay, perfect. Juan is leaving know. you guys yep. all comment. Juan, make the comment. Make the comment sound like you're genuinely an interested buyer. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. That's look, what we're look, doing. Look, yep. look, take it till we make it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna find a reel that has a comment on it. I should have thought about this ahead of time, but I didn't. All right. All right. There's one. Okay. So. I'm on a reel, right? And again, this, just to be clear, this only works on reels, okay? It only works on reels that you've made. It doesn't work on normal videos. It doesn't work on live broadcasts. Only works on reels. So that's okay, right? So when we go to hit reply on the comment, if that little blue box pops up, you see the little blue box with the photo thing? That is sort of your indication about whether or not you can do this or not. If you can't, if that thing doesn't pop up, it's not a reel, you're on something else, you're confused, okay? So it only works on reels, which is why we need to be marketing on reels, which is why I want you guys marketing on reels, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit my, my, my little blue icon here, right? And you can see instantaneously it's pulled up that comment that says cool, right? Now, if I was prepared ahead of time, because I just thought about this idea on the fly, I would definitely use the green screen and I would go and get the piece that they were interested in. Or or let's just say it's not a piece. In fact, let me just get out and I'll say, like let's just say, it'd be better if it was a piece of art on my show and tell here. Okay, I wanna come back to that. Okay, boom, there's that one. Oh no, no, that was just a thumbnail too, shoot. Or whatever, I'm just gonna do it. But I would like you guys to do it with the piece of art in question, if, if it's applicable, right? Like, you know, let's say the piece of art in question for me Oh, this is perfect. This is the beach thing I used from the other day. So this was the piece of art in question. That is what I would use. Let me get out of this. Hold on. So go to the green screen. So you can see the comment, right, is already there. And I might as well, this has just been so confusing. I'm going to start over from scratch. So I'm going to go to the comment on this reel. You can see it's from Nelson C. Photo. Cool, heart, awesome. You can see it's got the little blue icon. I'm going to click the blue icon. And what it's done is it's grabbed that person's comment, right? Now, this is just a sticker at this point, by the way. You can move this thing around anywhere you want. In your case, it's going to be a, you know, wow, it's such a beautiful piece. I'm interested in it, right? Like, oh, what incredible use of color. Like, that's what your comment is going to look like. And by the way, you can click on these things to change the color as much as you want. Whatever. Your mileage might there. You do what you want. But if they were commenting on a specific piece, I would have it ready to go. And then I would, I would go green screen like this, okay? And I would grab the photo, and I'm just going to use that one, right? And you can, why does it keep doing that? Oh, because it's a video. Shoot. Those are videos. Those are not screenshots. Should just be screenshots. Let me see if this works. Okay. So now, talk on it. Talk on it. I'm going to start all over again. By the way, this happens all the time if you're an operator. Everything that you try to do gets buggy. It doesn't work. It goes glitchy. All right. Green screen. All right. Now change background, camera roll, that one. Okay. So perfect example. That's what I was looking for. So now you can see the comments up top and then the piece is in the background, right? So you could even potentially uh, a screenshot your, your actual Instagram post that they commented on, right? Because what I'm doing here is I'm letting people know that this was the piece in question, right? that this person asked the question about. And you can even like move this thing in the middle because what happens is the minute I start talking, it goes away. So what this would look like is, thank you so much uh, for that kind word on my piece above. You had some questions about it. Just to let you know, number one, it's available. Uh, two, it's in my shop. That particular one I actually offer as prints on a couple of different media types, although the original is also still available. So love to see it on your wall. Uh, if you're interested, all you have to do is send me a direct message here on Instagram, uh, or you can email me, call me, text me, whatever you like, fill out the contact form on the website. Uh, love, love, love uh, uh, to see it get a new home. And just as the whatever, to let you know, uh, uh, I'm having a sale in two weeks, and this piece is a part of it. Thank you so much uh, uh, for your interest in my artwork. I really appreciate it. It keeps me motivated, and have a great day.
So I just recorded that, right? The artwork is in question. The social proof that I generated from someone interested in my work is now in the center of the reel, and that now gets shown to everyone. This is such a valuable asset to have, it's insane. Because you one, the people that see it, it will create the FOMO. Like I said, it is extremely, extremely uh, 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 potent when it's an original and there's only one left because then it's like, wait a minute, somebody's bidding on the one that I wanted, get me the hell in there, right? Um, but it also is extremely effective just, just like, you know, it just, it just makes you look cool. Like it just makes you look like an artist that's in demand, right? It makes you look like uh, uh, people want your work. And then in addition, in addition to that, like all of you guys are terrible at sales, okay? You're terrible, you're so worried that you're gonna be salesy. You want someone else to do the selling for you. This is not selling. You are just being a nice artist, responding to this nice person that left a comment, right? And the beautiful thing is a lot of times they will just be compliments, right? And they will just be compliments from your friends. No one needs to know that. Just respond like it's a buying question, right? Like, you know, when I used to work at the coffee shop, I never worked at a coffee shop in my life. You'd put a couple of dollars in the tip jar yourself in the morning just to grease the skids, to prime the pump, right? So look for these opportunities. Get comfortable with doing this. I want all of you guys to do this way more often. I want you guys to pair up Okay, uh, uh, if you're not getting enough comments and questions or ask a friend to do you a solid now and again or have Juan do it. And Juan, how many comments have you left, by the way? I think I'm on the 10th one already. So get ready, guys. Yeah. yeah. So, so many requests in chat. Yeah, so Juan's doing it. So as you're getting these ones from Juan, but they gotta be on reels, right? So you're finding reels? Yeah, th those, those are reels, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, you, 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 you have to do that, right? Um, and Marlene, no, I'm not going to yours because then I would say art storefronts on it and it would just look weird. Um, yes, Delzina, you can do it for one another. Okay. Like not all the time. Right. But you know, a little practice is not going to hurt anyone. I want all of you guys getting comfortable with it. You know, it's, it's, it's funny, right? It's cause it's like momentum that comes with everything else. Right. Like the only way this works is if you're actively making reels. So the more reels you make it stands to reason, the more comments you're getting. When you start getting the comments, then you can respond to the comments with reels. Then you're hitting your metrics, right? You're creating multiple pieces of content on the most important platform that matters. So yes, I want all of you to do it. Yes, if you've not done this, I want you to cheat in the short term. No one's gonna know except us, okay? Um, um, and, and, and everyone else that sees this after the fact. So don't worry about it. It's just getting in the habit of being able to do this. Yes, it only works on reels. That's it, you guys, that's it. So everybody can just help everyone out and do everyone a solid so that we can go through this and see what it looks like and see what it feels like, touch it, taste it, all of that. I think that would be a great idea. All right. John Scala, you're up first. Go ahead. Uh, well, your presentation answered the question I was going to ask because you gave me a lot of uh, replies to, uh, you know, comments that we get on our images. And, you're, and, a, lot and, them, and you're, a lot of them are just, you're, are just you're, plain you're, vanilla. Like, you know, I love this. Yeah, but I, look, uh, I, I love this is a buying question. All right, that's you, fine with rather, me. Let me yeah. let me instead say, how do I get more comments on my reels? Because that's ask the weak him. point of my reels. I'm not yeah. getting a lot of. You got to ask for him. You have to ask for him. So just yeah. said, love to hear what you think about this exactly, piece. Exactly, but I, I I don't even I don't even like it. Leave leave it um open i find the rule of one when questions come up is fantastic and i learned i've learned this over the years like if you have any feedback on the session please fill out the such and such and let us know right nobody does that nobody has feedback ask for something specific right ask for something specific if there's one area of town that you would love to me see me shoot what is that one area what is you know it, it, what is your favorite drink right a uh, 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 Coke or Pepsi, right? Like when it's a definitive question, you end up getting more responses. But you know what? Start Step one is just asking. Just ask for them. When you ask for the question, you'll start getting them more often and you have to ask via video. So it's gonna make you be on video. So that's gonna make it another win for me. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm on board with all of it. Okay, thanks. Yeah. And even, even John, like, you know, I, I, I love that piece. That is a damn buying question, right? The colors on this thing are incredible. That is a buying question. And again, even if we know who the person is, 
and we know that they were just being cool, they're still doing us a solid because it just generates another reel. And I should mention too that like, you know, there were a couple of weeks, right, where Art Store Fronts went off the deep end on a number of pieces of content created for a week on Instagram. We've kind of we've kind of slowed down a little bit, Nick and I, and the reason that we did is because we're cheating because we spend money on ads that you guys can't do, right? So we're still getting the same reach. But what what I've noticed is that for whatever reason, like right now, and this is just, again, this is extremely short-term arbitrage, and I'm usually very reluctant to even bring this type of stuff up, but I do so because it's it, it's an advantage. Like if you're, if you're a true operator and you're creating a bunch of different content and you're making a bunch of different reels, what you notice is that Instagram will give extra views to the ones where you respond to comments. And I don't know why it's doing that right now. What it just tells me is that for whatever reason, Instagram in the very near short term is saying, we want more people doing this, so do it. And if you do, I will reward you with more views, right? Which is really you know, just the hamster wheel and being fed. But at the same time, it gives us a little extra juice. There is a short term arbitrage on it, so use it to your advantage. All right, Robert, you're up next. Hi there. Hi. At the end of the uh, session yesterday, I think Juan was there. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I actually got my thousand, one thousandths. Uh, Boom! Oh. Congratulations. Well ahead of well ahead of the start of October, as far as I'm concerned, too. So good job. Thank you. And um, now, over the over the uh, over the night, I, I could actually see the. Um, the amount of likes and everything happening. Yeah. Could you could you just give me a, a short like, how does the algorithm work? Oh, who knows? Who cares? Completely, utterly, totally irrelevant. I don't want you thinking about that even for 0 0.02 seconds, because it's a fool's error. None of us will ever figure it out. It constantly changes. There's all sorts of nonsense going on, and like, you know, when you've been doing this as long as I have, you realize, you know, when I just explained that for whatever reason the the uh, 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 the comments responding to comments like I just showed off is getting more views than anything else I'm reluctant to even tell you guys that because I hate the short-term arbitrage and when you've been doing this for long enough you realize that like the short-term arbitrage is the stupid shiny objects okay is putting us on the hamster dopamine wheel and it's just it's just a bridge to nowhere it's not even worth focusing on for one second like all but, but you worry about all you worry about is what you can control Okay, that, that will win, which is number of pieces of content created per week. That's it. That's but, it. But I'm, but I'm saying that you you've made this uh, one thousand followers a a, a huge deal, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but you know and why? Why? That's what I want to know. Yeah. So it's a credit check. That's it. That's it. It is literally just a credit check. It is. It is. When I look at your resume, does it show you had work history and you went to college or does it not? That's it. Okay. It's literally just a credit check. So now when we get into the crazy active marketing period that is Q4, someone discovers you for the first time. I don't want them showing up on your profile and seeing that you have three followers and two posts. I want you to look like a reputable, credible artist that's been at this for a while, that's on the up and up. And that's all it is. It's the credit check. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Yep. And you've hit it too. So congratulations. You don't have to do any of that following nonsense anymore. You get down to business. All right, Rick, you're up next. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm a new member photographer. Welcome aboard. Thank you. In fact, uh, I won't even be talking to my website designer until next week, mm -hmm. but I'm currently, um, uh, creating my images uh, to be uh, posted on the site. So this is my question. I create images in uh, full color, but a lot of my uh, images, I preference is to change them either to black and white or uh, what I call a gold tone, a deep sepia. Mm -hmm. So my question is for feedback on what might be most popular with the uh, clients out there, or should I post 
you won't know yeah. you won't know for you won't know probably for a year and and i use the term i use the the length of time loosely because it's you know varies a little bit depending on which momentum you get but early on what you're really asking me is like what's my niche is essentially what you're asking me right what what should my niche be we don't know and no one can tell you what you're going to do is you're going to take the burger apart you're going to throw everything onto the glass wall and we're going to have a little race and see what happens at the end of the year and inevitably one of two things happens either one part of the burger races down the glass faster than everyone else and it won in which case in point you might have the niche or it could be a total mixed bag and a little bit of everything sold in which case you keep doing you they like your creative eye and they quite frankly don't care what color it is you see what i'm saying so so at the start should i post the same image in all three in different uh, galleries as long as you're breaking it up yeah i would i would I probably would. I mean, I, I wouldn't do it with every single solitary image because I don't want you getting in. I don't want you in your mind going, okay, now I've got to stop and go retreat every one of those images three times and get them all. No, you're not doing that. Just launch, get the thing started. And when you start focusing on the act of marketing and get the, get the piece in front of enough eyeballs and start actually getting feedback and ideally orders, then we'll have a better idea of what to do. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Rick. And welcome aboard. Welcome to your first office hours. That's awesome. Trinidad, you're up next. Can you hear me? I sure can. Okay. Hi. I'm sort of new. I've been at this for a few weeks. And okay. um, so I have a question. Uh, thanks for the real thing. Seems really cool. Um, yeah. So one is like the price. Is, by some reason, I'm not computing that really good. Like, um, like I like to know what's the price of the basic, like let's say on um, 16 by 24. Mm -hmm. And then the person doing my website, she said, you guys recommend a 250%. Correct. Um, but um, I, I'm not really that, uh, that good at understanding percent. Like I like to see like a dollar sign in my mind just to see how much what's, and also if I do that to all the prints, then I'm putting the same value on all the prints. And that's not something that I believe. Like, I think I have mixed media work. So I have mm -hmm. photographs and then I have prints that are a reproduction of drawings mm -hmm. and the price point will be different. So, and I haven't been able to get through this with my web designer. Like mm -hmm. we're just butting heads and she probably thinks that I'm insane because I keep asking her. <laughs> So yeah, here. The, the, the tendency, the tendency like early on is to get super bogged down and overthink price. It's the least, yeah. it's honestly the least of your worries. Set it at 250% across the board. Do not think about it again and get going on your marketing. Doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't matter. You can adjust it up or down later at any point in time. Um, so don't worry about it. Honestly, don't worry so, about it. Okay. I thought about that. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Trust me. Let me, let me so, Trinidad, let me take this burden off of your shoulders. Okay. <laughs> I am going to do it. It's 250%. Set it and forget it and go work on the other stuff. Yeah. For go, everything. For everything. And go work on the other stuff. And if somebody is like, Trinidad, this is too expensive. Can you give me a deal? You have the room to come down and give them a deal because you marked it up 250%. So that's all I need to do. Finish the website, yes. get it ready, yes. and then yes. combine it. Yes. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. All right, Muffy, you're up next. Go ahead, Muffy. Hey, Patrick. Um, as you well know, I do a farmer's artisan market twice a month, and I do the drawing, you know, to win a print. Yes. And I was wondering, you know, I haven't been able to, I've had somebody filling in for me for the last few weeks, so I've got about two weeks worth of email contacts that I haven't been able to draw the raffle for and put them in and uh, you know when you send a letter to tell them you thanks for joining my mailing list and give a discount mm -hmm. how would you rephrase that letter to uh say well, i'm well, sorry i didn't get back to you yeah i mean the most important thing is well, so okay here done record this someone um hey guys it's muffy i'm back from two weeks vacation and i just realized my print giveaways didn't go out here are the winners Great job, Martha. Great job, Steve. Congratulations for everyone else. Sorry you didn't win. I don't ever win either. Also, sorry I forgot about this for two weeks. As a result, take 15% off store-wide for the next 48 hours. Thanks, and have a great day, Muffy. So you've got that recorded for me then? Yes. Thank you, because I'm like, ah. 
Yeah, don't yeah, don't, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it's one of those things where life has gotten in a way and I've become a caregiver for my husband. So I haven't been able to focus on my website as much as I'd like. I so are you on Copilot, Muffy? Yes. Good. That's why Copilot so, is for. That's why you're not asleep at the switch anymore. No matter yeah. what, the marketing is getting done, at least some of it. God, it makes me happy. Because we so all, should we, we all send have that those out as a situations. separate Yeah. So should we have to send should I resend that letter out as a separate email or yes. just Yeah, separate email, okay. just all those people that enter. Do it. Okay. So I'll just do it on the, you know, whenever I have the email come up available on Copilot. Yes. Okay, I got another quick one for you. Yep. I did a portrait about 25 years ago for Margaritaville for yes. a commission that never went through. And I decided to see what happened. So Saturday morning, I put that image up. Oh, I bet it sold, didn't it? Well, I made comments. I said, I would love the, the original painting was stolen. Oh, wow. That's terrible. So I put it up and I suggested, and please comment and tell me if you would like to have a, a mug of this or a reproduction of this image. Mm -hmm. And I've already gotten two people saying that, yeah, I would like that. So I've already taken the buying question and, and turning it around. You took the buying yeah. question and you turned it into a selling conversation. Buffett yeah. style, Muffy. Yeah. Buffett yeah. style. A cheeseburger yeah. in paradise status as far as I'm concerned. Good job. Yeah. So I'm going to make a real once I've got the image up on the website now, but I've got to make some tweaks. So I'm going to have to go to tech support. To, uh, to answer a couple questions on fixing it. Get it done, Muffy. Get it done. Love it. I met, so I've been to like probably, I don't know, 10 Jimmy Buffett concert. It was kind of a thing growing up as a kid. And I got to meet him on his last show in the amphitheater I grew up going to uh, before they tore it down. Uh, and I got a photo in the whole thing. It was awesome. Uh, I'm pretty stoked on that. All right, Sharon, you're up next. Go ahead. Turn this on. Mm-hmm. Um, just a couple quick things. First of all, I actually went to a party back in the 70s with Jimmy Buffett when he wasn't anybody and neither was I. But oh, that's uh, awesome. Fun guy. Yeah. Um, you, I know, lived through my all of my emotions and angst when I lost my Instagram account two years ago. Yes. Um, I, all is good. But I woke up this morning to find out that um, my Facebook page has been locked. It yeah. said for unusual activity. Um, but I was able to recover it almost immediately by answering their questions and everything was good. But then I commented on, I posted my art this morning at Small Winds. And then I started commenting on my very first one and up popped the screen that saw, said I had violated the Facebook rules and I'm now locked out for 24 hours. That's so, so weird. Do you? And do, I, I didn't do anything, and not, yeah. as far as I know, nobody did anything with my account that that should happen. But I'm I'm going to follow their 24 hour guidelines, and hopefully by tomorrow I'll be back in Facebook. I'm able to do Instagram just fine today. Yeah, they are but, the worst. No, no, no rhyme, no reason, no no explanation. Just boom. It's like God. They suck. Yeah. But the main thing I wanted to tell you, and I hope you'll pass the word along to Nick. Mm -hmm. uh, over a period of three months, I had three major projects that were um, print issues, and there were three mess ups. And the last one, um, everything got solved beautifully. And I'm, I'm thrilled with the customer support from Alana. And, um, and I know that Patrick got in, or um, Nick got involved, and you may as well because I was facing a deadline for the judging of a piece of art that I submitted for 125th uh, Symphony Orchestra mm -hmm. anniversary. And, um, and I, I needed it to be perfect because obviously I was going before a panel of judges. Yes. Well, I won the Arts Award. Boom. So I wanted to let you know, I was, I'm really pleased with that. Huge congrats on that, amazing. Thank you. Thank and, stay, you and, st and, and stay out of Facebook jail, Sharon. Stay out of Facebook jail. Yeah, no kidding. I don't want to live through what I did before. Oh, and tomorrow, I hope, I'm within three people of um, having 1,500 followers at Instagram. Boom. Yeah. Keep it going. So I'm, loving, I'm loving this momentum pre, uh, pre Q4. Yeah. Okay, that's it for me today. Great. Thanks, Shane. Okay, Sarah, you're up next. All right. 
So um, I have a question about um, commissions. Okay. I made um, a post that went along with the playbook, mm -hmm. and I posted that I have um, one spot open for one hundred and ninety nine dollars, and I made a reel about it mm -hmm. and posted. I've got zero responses. Mm -hmm. Um. Now I feel embarrassed, and so I don't know what to post next. No, like, don't, don't feel embarrassed at all. Just in the back of your head, you got two responses, and you did the two commissions. That's what people are going to think in their heads, so don't worry. The, real, the reality is, is that very, very few people saw it. You probably have a low following count, right? Are you just getting started? I am just getting started. Um, I have, I've gotten a lot of followers lately, though. I have close to 600. Good. Um, yeah, but I really want to sell the spot. So I don't know what the next move would be. Do do some regular posting so that, you know, one, you can delete the post, right? Delete the post so it's gone so no one else sees it. Give okay, it a, so that's what get, I should do, just delete yeah, it? Yeah, not yeah, yeah. trust me, you'll, you'll feel better about it when after you delete it too. So delete it, then no one saw it, don't worry about it. Now in like a week and a half, go do it again. Mm -hmm. Go do it again. And you might have to do it 50 times before you get someone to bite for the first time. And that's a crazy thing to think about, right? But when you set yourself up mentally like that, then you're not worried. It's all just marketing. So should I do it in a different way next time? You certainly can, yeah. I, I would. It's fun to play that... around with it in different ways. Try raising the price and do it again. Raising? Yeah. Because <laughs> I really like what I did. I really thought it was really good. Like yeah. I made it real and everything. Yeah. Um, but you, you, don't, you don't have to change anything necessarily either. You can just like do it again and again and again. Like, Look, not everyone sees all your posts at all. No one even knows you did that. So you're gonna to have to post it ten times for everyone to know. So keep going. Yeah, um, but it is a reel. So when he, one person has commented on it, so I could do your um, green screen thing. Yeah. And say just to let you guys know, this is still available. Or should I just not do that and just ignore? No, no, no. Do it. Do it. Do it right now, because then you get the practice. Okay, I'll just be like, this is still available. Nobody has taken the spot. Yes. Or I have, to, or or if you, yeah, say it that way. I would say, there's now six people in line, but I will, I am willing to take up to ten. Let me know. <laughs> but yeah, you can. You, you, no, I know. And I'm not a good liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I couldn't encourage. <laughs> you. Um, but yeah, so maybe can I put the reel on there so y'all can, one of y'all can comment. Yes. I'll just... Throw it in the chat. <laughs> someone, someone will help you out for sure. All right. Thanks. Thanks, sir. Hey, Pat. Do you want me to share my screen so I can show people how? How the comments will come to my screen? Yeah. To my Instagram account? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, you, I'll do that. Hold on. Get, get, get the, the next, next one, one, so I'll do, go with it on my phone. Yeah, yeah. One good. second. I'll let you know what I'm doing. Keith, ready. you're up next. Go ahead, Keith. How you doing? Good. Are you going to be responding to buying comments to start selling conversations, Keith? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, um, I don't know. Yeah, so I have a question about... Um, I keep getting um, uh, Instagram contacts um, w w wanting to purchase my artwork as NFTs. Yeah, I mean, scam. Stop it. Just ignore and oh. move on. Done. Scam, okay. Stop. Delete. That was um, done. 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 But what what exactly is an NFT scam. to begin with? It is a scam. It is a scam. Do do not worry okay. about it. Like if they need to purchase your work, they can go to your website and purchase it. Otherwise, they're wasting your time. They're trying to get you to lose money on crypto. So just ignore it and move on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's it. Okay. Okay. Thanks, All right, thank you. Super, super common thing, by the way. Like, it's just there's there's a whole bunch of them that are just preying on artists, and it it sucks. So it's it's a scam every time. D House, you got to unmute, brother. Yeah, you got to unmute. I don't got to unmute because you guys can probably hear me still anyway. No, I did. <laughs> I, did I did unmute. Hey, um, I I don't forget what I was gonna say, but no, hey, about the um. The QR codes and yeah. stuff. I kind of get QR codes that I put on my vehicle. Yes, I like, saying you can. Life size, right? Yes. Because I got a, I got a cool vehicle that will kind of do that. The only, People, th the only thing that really bums me out about it right now is that, like, you know, young punks are young punks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if I walk so they, up, you think they'll mess my stuff up? If I walk up, you have to be careful. If I walk up to your QR code with the sharpie, oh yeah, change one dot, mess it all up. one dot, it messes the whole thing up. So if you put oh. it on your car. If you but put if it I on your them. car, you have to scan it every day before you take off. Oh, you'd have to see my car. People won't get close to it. They'll be scared of it. Okay, good. I like that. I appreciate that. Yeah, That's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a punishment. Yeah, yeah. It's, 
But yes, so I love I love the idea. I love the idea. And send me a phone. I heard you say that a long time. It's like three weeks ago you said something about it because yeah. I, I took two weeks off because of my situation, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm back in it now and I'm like Good. way behind, but I'm catching up. I love so it. So I should I shouldn't go backwards though, right? No. I should just stay where I'm at. Yeah. Okay. I just want everybody to know in there that I need some help with some comments and stuff because I was literally took two weeks off. So but yeah. I'm I'm back in it now. So put it that's kind of put it on the car, photograph it and show it to me because I want to see it. Yeah, I'll do it. So, how do I get it? Is that's the question? You're yeah. I, so you'll have to get it. You'll, you'll you'll have to get it printed either online or locally. Um, okay. You know, once you figure out the one that you want to do, then okay. um, we should find. Like it. if I just go to the D horse out or the D house art the thing, I can just get a QR code made for that site, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Your product page, the site, and, and a whole bunch of different places. You can look in the technical technical documentation or open a ticket, and they can teach you how to do it. Um, okay. Or throw you in tech support right now, and they can show you how to do it right okay. now if you want. Yeah, they can do that one too. And then, yeah, I think Vista Print is probably the cheapest company um, okay. that will Vista. make that will make the thing that goes on the back of the window, right? And Ooh, I would, man, that would be covering up my stuff that I put on there. Ooh, I yeah, but it, it, I, I think yeah. they, I think they make like temporary ones nowadays. Okay. You know, kind of like uh, um, sort of the magnets the realtors used to put on their cars, and then they would take them off. Yeah. You know. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, but I think I think there's like a, a simple window sticker that you can get on temporarily, so that's what I would do. Okay, because I yeah okay that'll work. I'll get a few of them made. I must. Yeah. People people see my vehicle. I'll, I'll you'll see it. I'll put it on there for you. Awesome. Okay. Thanks, Yasmin. Thanks. Get, back, get back on the horse, brother. All right, All right does see. Are you ready? Uh, Patrick, are you ready? One yeah. Let, let let me know if uh, if the audio goes through. If not, I'm just giving it a shot with my phone. Let's see. Yep. There we go. And look how cool this is. How you Boom. I got I got my notification. Yeah, I just showed it with the phone. This yeah. is cool. So I got my notifications and look at page. I dropped a comment and there's a reply. Thanks for asking, Juan. As it turns out, I have a talk that I'm doing this Saturday, just two days from now, about the whole history of the 25 years of calendars. The link is in the bio. Boom, that's oh, lovely marketing. Love it. Boom. Love it. There you go. Let's hear this one as a final. Hey, thanks for asking about senior portrait sessions. I'd love to talk to you. Let's set up a time to talk and uh, I can provide more information. Um, my calendar is booking up really quickly this season, so the sooner we can talk, the better. Thanks again. I look forward to speaking with you. Little urgency hey. in that hey. one, too. Oh, I love it. I love go. it. <laughs> Way to go, guys. Yeah, I just wanted to show that. That's, that's super cool. cool. Awesome. As more of those come in, I want to see more of them. All right, Dalzini, go. I just needed to check in with you. I've never talked to you before. Oh. I listened to you on, uh, what's that, YouTube. Yeah, when you yeah. send those out, they've been great. Oh, thank you. Um, and I, I put it in the chat. I'm so excited because today when I went to uh, our, our garden club reconvene, and they were just talking about things that had happened over the summer. And they said, and we have a famous artist in our midst. And I'm like, what? And they start pointing at me. And I was like, it was so sweet. No and it's way. like, just because they see how many posts. And then one person took me aside and said, doesn't I just love what you're posting on, on Facebook and oh, Instagram. Yeah. And I and I'm gonna I'm gonna get in there and see your site and order some things from you. Look around and see what I can get. And I was like, "That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Slow at first, but you know, you, <laughs> it, it, you you start getting the. It, it's a beautiful example of like, you know, you start doing the marketing, and you don't have any damn idea where it's gonna reach, what's gonna happen, who's gonna see it, how it's gonna work, right? And, and it's so hard at first and it's so lonely and it's so tiresome and you're getting out of your comfort zone. And then one little thing like that happens and it's, it, it's always some story like that and it's always different. And it's like the emotional reservoir gets filled up, right? And, and you have a little extra pep in your step and, and, it, and it's just enough to like send you down the road far enough to get through all the other hurdles you got and then, and then it'll bump you up again. And I, that's like one of the things that I love um, – I love about marketing. It's really fun. I was sitting yeah. in a, um, I was sitting in a car dealership, getting waiting to pick up a car for service, and I'm sat outside on my phone, and you know they they pull the car up like out from wherever the bowels they're fixing it, and some guy comes out of the service shop and he's like, "Are you the art storefronts guy?" And I was like, "Yeah, how'd you know that?" And he's like, 
I've been listening to the podcast. I've been listening for like two years. You know, my wife and I, I work here full time. My, my, my wife's dad is the artist and he's dead. And he went, went through the whole story. And I was like, wow, I'm getting, I'm getting noticed in public, you know, <laughs> which, which was, which was kind of interesting. So it, 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 it just happens to you when you get going, you know, it just happens to you when you get going. And then that's not all. Then another person who was there and she's fairly new to our club. She's in terms of she's an artist. And she said, I'm going to a artist meet and greet tonight if you'd like to go. And I said, do y'all know about places where you can have showings? Oh, yeah. They know several places coming up in the next three months. So cha-ching, I have some places I can investigate to show my work. Can't lose as long as you're winning. Can't lose as I, long as you're I'm winning. I'm just so thrilled. And that's just from listening to you and and the rest of our, our podcasts and things like that. And knowing to speak up and listen and jump on it. And just thank you. Thank awesome. you very much. I've been waiting to do this. I've been trying to get this together for eight years. You guys are my answer to my prayers. Thank you. No, oh, thanks for saying that. That makes me really, really happy. Keep keep going. Keep plugging away. You're on it. And and your first Q4 is coming too, which is also a big deal. Um, really exciting. But thank you for sharing that. That story was awesome. All right. Joanne, you're up next. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I have a quick question. Sure. And it... Um, and it this sort of came together while I've been sitting here, but I've been concerned all day. I've mm -hmm. been watching my count go up on Instagram and on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I noticed that there's a discrepancy between my computer and my phone. Now I do most of the work on the phone and mm -hmm. it's counts are higher on both accounts. Okay. Okay. But just while I've been sitting here, both of them, although my Facebook account says that I have 2,000 followers. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, the Facebook uh, on the uh, on the phone. But on the computer, it says I have 1,957 or something like that. But here's the interesting thing. Once it hit 2K on the uh, phone, yeah, 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 yeah. it so jumped I, I, up I, I, 2K yeah. on, the, on the computer, yeah, but it still yeah, lost yeah, the yeah, 19 yeah. Seven count now what's that about and it's I rounding just to it's how they do, it's how they do the rounding it's actually like kind of deflate it kind of deflating because when you get when you get higher up it'll say like you know 3.2 follower 3.2k followers right and um, it'll say 3.2k yeah. all the way until it goes yeah. three three thousand two hundred ninety nine and then it'll tick up to like 3.3 right so it's just rounding you know it's but, right. but my question is why are my counts between the computer in the and phone, different. The phone, who knows? Yeah, who knows? forty-three. Who knows? Um, it doesn't. Points it, apart. It, it it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, it's, it doesn't it's not matter. Change. That's yeah, all in here, and I yeah. just wanted to bring that up because I thought it might be bugging somebody else too if they had that problem. Yeah, if it's that, bugging but... anyone else, both of you guys ignore it. Everybody ignore <laughs> okay, it. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you. Lord, Lord knows we have enough problems. I mean, they, they, some of the things that these platforms do they drive me nuts. Um, that's one of them. Uh, okay, you Dan, I think. Let me know if I said it wrong. Hi. Hi. Hey. First time I talked to you, okay. but I have heard about you for a long time. It's I'm a new member. Well, if it was good, it's all true. <laughs> if it was bad, uh, I don't know who you're talking to about. Um, how, how do I pronounce your name? Idan. Idan. Okay. I, Idan. Yes. Idan. Yep. Yes. Nice to talk to you. Um, so I'm a new member, and uh, so I'm pretty new for both Instagram and Facebook. Okay. So I had Facebook page like for years, but I never done anything. Mm -hmm. So I have like just 200 followers on my Facebook page. Okay. And uh, before I, five days ago, I started to, to follow the strategy on my Instagram. I only had a hundred followers and mm -hmm. now I have 220 something Boom. followers. That's how it goes. Yeah, I just, uh, so I feel that at this stage, should I just focus on that? Like, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. One, what is our recommendation? I mean, we don't, we don't have them just focus on that to the detriment of everything else. It's sort of, sort of a, you know, monthly task when you have time, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I have. I am on the co-pilot program too. So and right now, I'm also. Um, and my last year getting my master's of degree, so I'm pretty also busy. You're busy. School. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah, so 
so I don't want to like disrupt myself too much and then make myself like so anxious about not getting anything done. Yeah, Either don't. Yeah, don't. Marketing, I'll study, I'll whatever. <laughs> yeah, don't. Don't be anxious um, for, for doing as much as you are. Um, that's 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 awesome. You know, it is something you can do in margin time. You know, like you know when you're when you're waiting in the car somewhere, you're stuck. You're stuck in traffic, or you know everyone's got different situations. You're at the doctor's office, or you know it's the end of the night. You're sitting in bed, and you know you just want to unwind. So that's that's kind of how I approach it, um, and 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 do mm-hmm. it. But don't you know. Don't don't kill yourself to get it done. You're already you're already picking up steam, which I like. Okay, so maybe I just I think my energy now can only focus on Instagram. Yeah. This is one thing I can focus on with. Good. Uh, with the Facebook one, I I read the mark the, the article, but yeah, uh, it, I have not. I, done I wouldn't worry yet. about I wouldn't worry about Facebook until Instagram is done. Instagram is way more important. Okay, so Instagram, most of the, my followers are artists. So, and I also notice when I want to follow other people, most of them are artists. I know all artists <laughs> so, follow artists. It's it's like one of the we we talk about it, we joke about it all the time. It's not funny. It's annoying, but it it, it it's just the nature of this game. But the the takeaway again was kind of what I was saying earlier is like we want you to get up to that a thousand number because it's social proof, right? It's, it's what it says about you that you're like, you know, it, it's like reviews for a business, right? Like if a business doesn't have any reviews, a product doesn't have any reviews, you're like, uh, I don't know about that, right? So that's kind of how it translates into people's minds on, on how important an artist or photographer's Instagram profile is. So that's, that's what I would say. But don't, don't, don't stress about it too much. You know, it's, it's more visual. You're gonna have those artists that are following you. That's okay. It's just to make you look a little bit more credible on Instagram is, is, the, is the game. Yeah, what if when I hit a thousand, still most of them are artists. And uh, I even feel embarrassed to like, uh, when pilot, co-pilot promotes something like, mm, check it out in my store and I yeah. feel, oh, the other people want to sell their art too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't though, don't though. You know, it's like, everyone's like, well, you know, co-pilot for the first time, first of all, why I love it is because none of you guys ever want to be salespeople, right? Like you're, you're embarrassed, you don't like it, you don't want to do it, da, 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 all of that. Um, but you know, when you think about it, like you know what Copilot is? Copilot is the employee that's just working in your art gallery. That's what it is. Its job, its job is when someone walks into the art gallery to talk to that person, explain your work, okay, let people know how they can purchase it and handle all of that. It's just the it's just the digital store version of that person that works inside of an art gallery. And if you were an artist or a photographer and your art was inside of a gallery, you wouldn't care what that person was saying. First of all, you would never even have any idea what that person is saying. You would just be happy to know that that person was out there doing their job, okay, so you could stay in your studio and do whatever you were doing, right? That's all the mental model for it that it is. And everybody gets so hung up on, you know, uh, uh, what the posts are and what they look like and it's just like stop this is just the person working in your art gallery you need them working in your art gallery so you can go and work on the stuff that's more important in your case getting those instagram followers up getting school done and still creating the work you got you got a lot of jobs you done you got you have a lot of jobs <laughs> yeah i do often get a compliment from other people artists i'm pretty confident with my art i just need to get out there yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, welcome. Welcome aboard. And thank you for your questions and um, keep working on thank the Instagram you. strategy. Okay. You done. You'll get there. You'll, you will get there for sure. Okay. Peter, you're up next. Hi there, Taylor. It's just uh, Patrick. Patrick, I'm sorry. No, all good. All good. I know the difference. I just said the wrong name. Um, I am buried. Uh, I have been buried. Uh, since the get-go, and um, I've made some progress. Um, I have, my website seems to be correct now, the descriptions, the sizes. I'm going to start offering merchandise. Um, However, I am in a very uh, low level, count of followers on Instagram and I've made two reels and I've posted a bunch of photographs, but um, I just feel like 
it, it's all, I, <laughs> I feel like I have no friends <laughs> and, and um, I, I really don't have a lot of friends at this point in my life. Um, like you would expect from someone my age, you know, uh, and the reasons I won't go into, but um, it's like uh, I have a few friends that post me on Facebook occasionally, um, but I feel like I, I just don't know how to get people to follow me. And I think the first problem when I watched the Instagram thousand followers course for the fifth time was, you know, it's not fun. My my website isn't fun, and when I tried to jazz it oh, up, stop, I stop, 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 stop. This is all the nonsense, defeatist things that prevent artists from ever doing anything. I know exactly where you are. I know exactly where you're thinking, and I want you to wipe all that crap out of your head. That is okay. a clog in your drain. You got to just work the program and stay consistent at it. That's it. That's all you have to do. Like the overthinking, over analytical you know, stage that you're in right now where you're contemplating it is why everyone that doesn't have the encouragement, doesn't have the teaching and doesn't have the mild harassment quits and, and, and doesn't keep going, right? Like, don't worry, follow, follow, follow what we're saying and keep going. If you stay at it consistently, I promise you will crash through these little pangs of self doubt that you're having and things that are getting in your way and saying, well, why isn't anyone here? And why isn't anyone doing that? Like, trust me, don't worry about that. Keep working the program. The fact that you've watched that five times is awesome, but I want you to just keep putting it into practice and do not worry about anything else. Do not worry mm -hmm. about anything else. You will 100% get there. I, I, I've run into the problem of not knowing how to access features like stickers and stories. Uh, I, and I, you know, I use YouTube. I, I ask questions mm -hmm. of Google mm -hmm. and... I, I still can't find the answers I need regarding how to post the story and how to uh, how to you find you find you find that by going you, you find that by going to YouTube you're not getting the responses like how do stickers work on Instagram I did look at it but I still can't find them on Instagram I I, I they often what they say on YouTube I can't find on Instagram either on my phone or on my laptop I I'm, yeah, definitely, I'm, definitely don't confusing. use, definitely don't use the laptop. It, the, the, the confusing portion of it is 100% and never goes away. The The thing about stickers is they really, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't use them anywhere aside from stories, but they really only show up when you're creating a story. So okay. let me do this. Let me just show you. Might as well put this one to bed right now. And by the way, Janice is on one. Every I can't log on to Instagram without Janice doing uh, 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 some crazy business like this. You are very hardworking, Janice, if you're on here today. But anyway, so what I want to do is, like, look, here's what I'll do. I'm going to press send. I'm going to add this to my story. So I'm now in my story creator. And at the very top of the screen here, next to the A's, is this little peely thing with a smiley face. These okay. are the stickers. And this is where you can type in whatever you want. So I love that Janice is working as hard as she is. So I'm going to put congrats. Congrats. That's weird. Did my thing just go to Italian? Oh, congrats. I mean, it's like something in Italian. C-R-G-A-T-S. Congrats. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a huge congrats on there. Oh, I And that's see. a sticker. You see what I mean? So oh, it's yeah. it's only in the story creation. I don't think it has it. You for can anything you else. can you can find those in uh, Reels as well. It's just a limited option of stickers, not the interactive ones. Oh, that's interesting. So so if you're, you're looking for comments, if you're looking for comments and interaction, uh -huh. they'll be through stories only. But for Reels, you can add little you know, little thingies as you did for, with the congrats. It's you know? just not it's just not as many, right? Yeah, so it's not know. as many, but it's cool still. Yeah, they they, they are really really cool, and the, and you know the thing is is that they've integrated. They've integrated, where is it? One, is it effects? It's down here. Uh, it's down here. Yeah, most likely. Well, yeah, Try to record record a video first yeah. or put a put a loaded video already. Let's see. I Finish. am going to test out stickers. All right, let's see. Next. I am yeah, going to test out outside. stickers. Yeah. There they there are. I am going to test out yep. stickers. Hold on, let me mute this. Otherwise, I'm going to have to keep hearing that blow hard. So when you search in here, is it, is it, um, See same thing. Oh yeah, it's like the whole same library. It's everything. Yep. Wow. So it's you the can, same thing. Yeah. You just you just lose the engagement stickers. That's it. Yeah. So you, you can, st you, you can still use it in reels. Images. That's pretty cool. Say that again. 
it just brings up a bunch of related images and yeah it's 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 a combination of um it's a combination of uh, 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 what are called gifs or gifs which are tiny like little animated looking things but then also actual stickers and then text that's animated there's a bunch of really cool stuff in there but they they bought this company called giphy and they integrated with them so there's like a lot a lot of options in there so the story is just a video then the story can be a video or it can be just an individual image or it can be a, you know a combination thereof it can be anything okay because that... i was under the impression that a story meant a story like a written story and that's no, not it no 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 okay yeah yeah all right thank you yeah. patrick and throw your throw your handle in uh, uh chat people are asking to follow you can pick up a couple extra followers here, Peter. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Thank you. All right. Throw, yeah. Throw your ad handle in there. All right, Terry, you're up next. Go ahead. Is there a way of searching for, I've kind of been trying to play with this as you guys are talking. Um, is there a way to search for an Instagram profile just on the, on the web? Like it just like if I type in my, I think uh, you can. For Instagram, it, it doesn't take me to Instagram. If I type in other people's handles for Instagram, it does not take me to Instagram. But not everybody has Instagram. I mean, no, I know people. If you if you hit Instagram. if you hit Instagram.com and you log in, you, there is some search functionality there. I know it's not as yeah, robust. It, it, I can it do it work. on Instagram. It does work I for can, sure. I can go to Instagram and their search and type in the different handles that people have. And yes, it takes me right to them, but I can't do a regular Google search. No. For their Instagram name. No, 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 no. Google hates Facebook. Okay. Why would they let them do that? There's no way they would uh, let them do that. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're in an intergalactic pissing match with one another. So yeah, there's no chance that's happening. <laughs> okay. I did, I did not know that. Yeah. So they don't want to play nice together. Okay. So, a person has to go to Instagram in order to do a search for a person's um, yes. Yes. handle name or, or yes. okay. If you're, if you're a celebrity, they put it in the little sidebar box, right? Okay. Like Instagram handle, but you know, I don't, I, I don't know any of those. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, that was, that was my question. Okay. Thanks, Terry. Okay. All right. Sorry. You up next. Go ahead. Hey, Patrick. Hi. That was really helpful what you said about um, responding to reels. Yes. Um, I don't important. usually get a lot of comments on my reels, yeah, you have but to, I do you have get to comments ask, on my posts. You have to ask for them. You have to ask for them. And I and, and there was some there's some confusion. Guys, trust me, it wouldn't matter how good of a teacher I am. This is just confusing. They are super annoying with their nomenclature and that the way they call these things this, that, and the other. And a live video gets turned into a reel, but it's not really a reel. And a video that's over a certain amount of time is also not a reel, but it's going to be. In the whole thing is confusing. It's annoying. Okay. They're sadists. They like compunction. Uh, uh, I don't appreciate it one bit, but we all have to just get on with it. So that's how it goes. So unfortunately, it's only going to happen on reels. Uh, it's going to be on reels that you've made and it is a skill set okay but no one knows how to do any of this stuff so the fact that you guys are all learning how to do it and practicing it right now makes me happy because you're going to get better at it than everyone else okay and you know it, it, it just takes practice and so start ending the things with direct questions just to show that you can do it right just to show that you can do it hey guys what should i paint next this or this, right? Like even if it's not a buying question, just getting in the habit of being able to do this, right, is is very, very important. Very, very important, right? Okay. So the so the suggestion is when at the end of your reel is to say, um, Do you yeah. like Bichon Free says yes or no? <laughs> Um, I will try that. Second question yeah. um, is I've been profiled uh, for uh, an online um, uh, magazine mm -hmm. called, uh, like in, they have them in every city, like we have them here. So Houston Voyage, and they've added a new capability, which they just told me today that they finished my profile and it's up and live. It's called Shout Out. Mm -hmm. And they're um, interested in 
promoting creative um, who live in the Houston area. Mm -hmm. And it's a really great profile. Of course, I wrote all the answers. <laughs> of I, I, I wrote it for him. Well, you, what, I brought what, it for them. What's cool um, they didn't you can, change sorry, you can go um, with your cell phone, go with your cell phone uh, to the website where it's profiled, take a bunch of screenshots of it, and then and then start using it as story backgrounds or start using it as green screen backgrounds. Yeah. So my question was, how do I promote it? And so yeah. the way to do it is, say again. The, the way to do it is every which way to Sunday and be shameless about it. Okay. That's number one. Okay. I'll, I'm happy to do be. I'm happy to be shameless. Yeah. But what I would do is I would go to the actual website where it's published, right, okay. on your phone and take a bunch of screenshots of, of, of the portions so that you can do green screen reels, right? That's a great way to do it. But then you can also put it in email newsletters, put the link to it on your website, right? Uh, put it put it on a regular Facebook post, put it in Instagram stories, like just put it everywhere because it's great social proof. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks. All right, Terry, and then 7ISGXG, and then John, Natal, Joy, and Ernie. Go ahead, Terry. Are you there? Terry's turning on mute. Is it this? Thing? Yeah, gotcha. There was two Terry's. Okay, I'm sorry. I was the... Uh... Anyway. Uh, actually, that shout-out uh, question just happened with me and you can order uh, hard copies and mine turned out really well. So I also need to share that um, around about. Yes. And the other thing was I was asked, thinking about, um, I was running a, a new giveaway, mm -hmm. which is not a new website giveaway, just another giveaway with a month, for example. Yes. And I was following the playbook. And there's so much about the email to our current list that I felt it would be muddying the waters. No, to this no, so explain no, to me. no, <laughs> like, like the, the, re the reality is, is that, you know, it doesn't matter. It's not going to cannibalize sales. It's just marketing. It's just marketing. So all of those folks, you know, bestowed their attention upon you in the form of an email. They like to win fun stuff too. Might as well let them enter as well, right? Okay. And oftentimes what it ends up doing is it's sort of a Trojan horse of sorts into a conversation about what you what they actually want. Like some of those people are gonna be like, mm -hmm. I could care less about a damn mug, but I do on my to-do list here is then order a commission and I haven't had time to talk to anybody and I haven't made the call and now all I have to do is respond to this email. So that's that's the idea and it works that way 100% of the time it's dry. Okay. Yeah, do it. Okay. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, I'm trying to answer these, figuring out how to answer on the, with the comments, but I'm going to keep trying and I'll talk to Juan tomorrow. So. Good. Get it going. In a second, Juan is going to show some more. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. All right, 7ISGXG. It's Celine. I already know it's her. Celine. I know it's Celine, <laughs> but the fact that she's got the phone name up here, I got to make fun of her. All right. How are the marriage proposals coming, Celine? Oh, no, you don't. You, you're not unmuted. You got to unmute the thing. Unmute. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. I'm sorry. I joined late today, and mm -hmm. so I I wasn't completely there when you were talking about um, the real situation. But yeah, I was kind of catching up here. Mm -hmm. um, I have a very specific question for you. Yes. The email um, playbook. Yes. Which one? So, uh, the one where you recommend it to post or or do a story asking people who were interested in signing up for a newsletter or email. Um, I, I, I did that and I know there's a lot of interest in my work because I get DMs. I get a lot of DMs. Yes. Uh, I get comments, but I get a lot of DMs. So, but I did not get a single person to respond for the email. So it, it's very confusing because I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Is it, um, are we talking about the, you're talking about the custom artwork strategy, I think, right? Is that what you're talking about? Like, um, I, I'm not sure I, I'm with you. What do you mean? Like what was, what was the post where you were asking for the email? Oh, um, it was, I, I did a story. Mm -hmm. Um, not, not a, not a video. It was just a story like mm -hmm. a, 
a picture with some text on it. Mm -hmm. And I said, um, send me DM me or send me your emails. If you'd like to be notified for, um, insider promotions, my website will be launching soon, Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Um, and then after that shot, I did a, um, another text version. So it was like a two story kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I got a bunch of likes on it, which is funny. Like they, you know, people liked those stories, Yeah. but not a single person thought to send me the email. Yeah. Um, it's it's it, like it, it works some of the time and some of the time it doesn't because most people are not like a hundred percent native on, you know, because you, what, what you're asking them to do when you're doing it on a story is like, okay, they're in the story. They need to know, they need to know, oh, I can't do it on mine. I have to look at someone else's. Hold on. I forgot about that. They sort of need to know, like, they have to go down here and use the send message box to send you a message, right? And stories is kind of the worst place to do it. Like, it's the worst place to do it in the sense that it usually doesn't get as much action as the reels do. And it doesn't get as much action as the feed posts do just by nature of the fact that it's only around for 24 hours, you know? Now, I do all three when I'm running the promotion because I want to hit all three because, you know, everyone goes to different portions of the thing. So I would go and do it again, do it on all three. In the case when you do a reel, in the case when you do a regular feed post, then you just say DM me. In the story, then you tell them to, you know, use the little box below. But they need, you, you, you have to be explicit in the instructions. Otherwise, people don't know. They're, they're not going to get it, right? Like most people just come into Storyland and they just hit this, hit this, hit this. Some people now have figured out that you swipe up and you can do the little fire emoji and it does fire, right? But most people, most people don't have figured out the send message. So you, you kind of need to do like send a message down below in the box, right? And that, and that usually will increase your uh, uh, chances of success, I would say. Okay. Yeah. I, I hesitated doing an actual post on the feed only because, um, I'm not yet ready to launch. And I figured it doesn't matter. Maybe- it doesn't matter. Start doing it. I don't care if you're ready to launch or not. You are ready to launch. I guess what? I just cleared you for launch. You are ready to launch. Okay. Done. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. And then one more question for you. I'm, yes. I'm totally posting, uh, quotes like once or twice a week, I try to do a filler post like that, you mm-hmm. know, quotes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I do them in, I do them in story. Yeah. Uh, but aren't you, isn't poetry like one of your jams or writing's one of your jams, right? Yes. Poetry is, but I'm talking yeah. about um, art quotes, just art quotes that yeah. I collect from Pinterest. Mm-hmm. My poetry, I don't release everything on Instagram because I'm working on a book. Okay. So um, I, I have it sprinkled in my feed. Um, and, and some of it is going to be used in some artwork. And so I'm not releasing all of it. So I have it sprinkled. But going back to the actual um, question here, the art quotes that I that I post in stories just to just to gain momentum and interest, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, I'm doing those in story um, because I, I'm not sure if it's OK for me to constantly fill up my my wall. It is your walls. No one cares. No one cares. The only thing, the only thing that's important on the wall, and, and so many people, we should define what the wall is, okay? What she means, what she means is, and a lot of you guys fall into this trap, is you think the visual rhythm of what's here on your profile is the most important thing in the history of mankind, okay? Nobody gives a shit, you guys, I'm sorry. Pardon my French. No one cares. No one cares like you guys care. You guys obsess over this like it's details on a painting. You can obsess over the details on a painting. Don't obsess over this. The general rule of thumb that I don't want to see is I don't want to see just art, just art, just art, just art, just art. I like breaking up the visual rhythm of it with some about you. And you know I've been on your case about some about you, same as I've been on everyone else's case. And then some about you, some about the art, and the art quotes, done. Great. Throw them in there. Love it. You know, they're reflective of who you are and what you like and what your art sees. So I would, I would 100% use those. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Thanks, Lee. All right. Next up, John M. Go ahead, John M. Hi, Ron. Um, so a quick question, such questions. I'm still new this Welcome. in my head. Yeah. Um, so question on the newsletter. I know there's the option for newsletters on my website, which I'm just wrapping up. Mm-hmm. Is there a template for that? How often do I send stuff out? Do I need to come up with 
newsletter content all the time. I'm not sure how that works. If people sign up on yeah, my website, I, what I, happens? I, I, I hate the keyword newsletter because newsletter newsletter is like a thing, right? And newsletter in, in, in the minds of most artists is like once a month, I let my audience know what I'm doing. And the reason I don't like it is because then you feel like, oh, I'm going to put all my energy and effort into this one email and I'm going to send this one email. That worked. Mm -hmm. That worked like 15 years ago when everybody opened email, but it doesn't work today anymore because not everybody opens every me email. So I don't want I don't want you guys going all in on one email to the detriment of sending regular and consistent ones, right? So I would okay. just follow what's on the calendar verbatim for the most part, and you can use okay. some of that language in there. I do, you know, John, put some of your personality in there, right? Like, you okay. know, w w what makes you interesting? What makes you tick? Use sign off lines that you would use and that kind of thing, but. But, you know, don't don't I don't I don't want like on your to do list, you know, create my email email newsletter contest content. And then like Sunday night at seven, you're looking at that thing going, oh, God, I'm dreading, <laughs> dreading my, you know, it's like maybe tomorrow I'll get to it. Like, don't 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 make it a burden. OK, okay cool. No, so let's use the calendar content or yeah, yeah, use yeah, the yeah. calendar as a guide. Yes. Great. Thanks. Second question related um, in the setup of my website, I saw somewhere in the settings at the back end. There are kind of like some template emails for when someone buys an order saying thank you, when there's um, maybe items in the carts that haven't been completed, all those kind of template emails. Mm -hmm. Do those go out automatically or do I need to send them? So if someone sends an order or makes an order, do I need to go copy that text and say thank you for your order, I appreciate it, or does it just go out automatically? Oh, that's a good question. Juan, do you know the answer to that? I think it does not go automatically, John, but I will place you on a tech support room where they will uh, give you the proper answer, okay? Okay, that would be great. Awesome. Yep. Thanks. Sending you now, John. Yeah, thanks, John. Awesome. Thanks a lot. I don't know how to do the tech the tech questions above my pay grade. All right. I'm learning. I'm yeah, learning. You are. The Ridman Collective. Is that, did I say it right? Uh, it's Ridman, but it's Rydman. okay. Oh, it's all the time. <laughs> Ridman. All right. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Hi, Patrick. Um, Hi. This is my friend, Rob. Um, Hi, Rob. We are um, wondering about, we made our first uh, self-made order. Um, unfortunately, the weekend um, discount code didn't work. And by the time I already made the, the order because well, hold on, we needed hold on. The, the discount code should have been applied automatically, no? Oh, that's lame. So, did, did the sale must have yeah. ended then. So, yeah, so that was a huge, a huge hit. But um, hopefully we could. I don't know if there's any way to fix that or now. I don't Juan, know. Did, but, is um, that sale over? That when did we have the sale? I can't keep track of any of this stuff. Is that for Copilot? No, 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 no. So they made a self-made order. You, you, you mm, yeah, the sale was over. I believe on Monday, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it was over. Yeah, yeah. I did it Saturday evening, and mm -hmm. um, it was. Um, it wasn't available, even though it said that there should be one available, well, and it contact, didn't. Work. Open, open the ticket and contact them because if the sale was still on, you should it should apply straight up. Right. Think... So tech support did because um, I asked tech support, yeah. and they they said, "Hey, you know, now you can do it because now it's working." But that was too late. <laughs> so I have an upcoming show, and I wanted ask, to make ask, sure I had some bull, stuff on here. Pardon my French. That's bullshit. You should ask them to credit you. Honestly, that's not right. Because okay. if if, okay. if if you totally put it in. And there's a record of you putting it in. And yeah. God, there's three people that had that. That's really infuriating. Yeah, um, it ended on Saturday, actually. We, yeah, we were told uh, it was right Saturday. Now. So I'm yeah. trying to get it in at like 8 p.m. because we we're trying to make all these, um, you know, adjustments to merchandise that we've never done before, which is obviously a learning curve at first. Oh, yeah. and, the, well, the sales, yeah. the sales never on merchandise. It's just on prints. Was it on merchandise? We did prints as well. Yeah. Um, but you yeah, merchandise, no. Did I you, didn't get anything. Yeah, I, I didn't yeah, think yeah, so, but I meant the prints. Yeah, I did like four prints, but nothing. Did you, wait, did you? So you didn't get the discounts on the prints? Mm -mm. No, sir. I tried. So here's another one. I tried to order on Saturday, and the discount didn't apply, so I didn't place the order. What is going on with this? All right, Juan, you're gonna have to get a follow up. Get the follow up on the list, so I can get to the bottom. Of what the hell happened here? Um. Also, um, the prints from Bay Photo. Did, I, I could ask on small ones, but really quick, how long does it take to get those? And I just don't know. And it doesn't give you a shipping date or approximate time frame. Will somebody in chat answer that? Because I also, I actually don't know too. Thank you. Yeah. Um. um go ahead. No. 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 Go ahead. 
Another question, uh, electronic signatures for artwork. I know you said, you know, just get them out there, get things done, get them up on the website. We did that. Um, but I did want to ask, um, since uh, taking photographs is hard enough for me because I'm not a photographer, um, <laughs> uh, for white balance and all those things, yeah. how do I um, how do I do an electronic signature? I've looked it up everywhere. And without Photoshop, I don't see a way to do that yeah. because I don't have, I, have, I only have um, Lightroom. Yeah, I wonder, I think, I think... Unless I'm, unless I'm completely off balance, we have the ability to place it on the thing ourselves, right? Okay, Linda's saying Bay Photo has a doc on doing it. This, the tech support questions I'm completely worthless on. I, okay, so I, that's I, on tech support. Actually, do people use that? I mean, because it does bring up a good question. Like if you're gonna do the digital signature, you know, that pretty much means you have to Photoshop every single solitary image to do that. Or but how would you get it in the perfect place every single solitary time? I don't, I don't have that's this. Yeah. Especially if you do have some photographs, I, you know, I mean, yeah. that's, that's a good point. Yeah, I would, I would ask tech support about that. I, the people in the chat are throwing in various different questions. Uh, the, the, they're always the best. Um, if you Photoshop yourself, it does not land right. Yeah, I don't know. Do you, are you doing, so just to have this clear, their paintings with, the, with or without the signature or their photographs with or without the signature? Or I have both. both. Both, double threat, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. The intent was to put it was to uh, at least from now on add the picture or add the PNG to the photograph or the painting after it had been loaded up to the uh, to the website um, or reload it onto the website uh, after we added it to to a JPEG that way. But it was a uh, the instructions cause were all about using Photoshop and it was a little bit disconcerting. Yeah. Yeah. I would still probably do Photoshop if it was me. Okay, definite definite ask in the chat or text support question. And I'm sorry, I'm generally worth I'm okay. generally worth it's okay. Uh, good job. Um we're we're trying to roll through um to get as many followers as I can. Thank you for everybody that followed me today. Um and I'm gonna continue to follow as many people as I can you know, um, as, so I can help everybody out. Um, one of the things I wanted to say was um, my husband had a great suggestion for somebody like Peter, maybe um, a community college or somebody at church who has young people could maybe help them with Instagram so they can do step-by-step. -step. Yeah, that's I, I still, no, no, no. I want him to search YouTube and find it on YouTube and do it. Okay. The, the reason <laughs> is we all need to do it, okay? Yeah. We all need to do it. I'm not kidding. My wife is like absolutely legendary. Learning curve, yeah. Oh. Like when you when you truly train the behavior, you are yeah. such a more well equipped and balanced human being. I'm not kidding. And you guys, it works for everything. Like my mother in law is in Europe. Okay, I have two dogs right now that I'm not used to, and this one little dog. Pardon me, I'm going to get graphic here. Somehow manages to poop 700 times a day. So there's flies like all around. Okay, and 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 too many of them. And you know what my wife does? How to get rid of flies. And she comes up, she goes onto YouTube, figures out how to mix this stupid vinegar thing. I don't think it's gonna work, but the point is I didn't have to do anything. She searched YouTube. Guys, how to unclog the drain, how to get a sticker off of something or other, how to, how to fix the TV, the model number. We all need to train ourselves to go to YouTube every single solitary time. I'm telling you. Learning curve, higher, yes. Higher quality of life across the board, not just what we're doing here. It, it, it really yeah, is I, I have been, uh, I've been learning Learning at an exponential rate. So I, I understand what you mean. So yeah, yeah. I gotcha. So, good, so yeah, uh, I think that's it uh, for my questions. Yeah. If you if you did want to take her her suggestion, you could say how to find a young kid, how it, it'll help me search YouTube on YouTube. And there's probably instructions for how to do it there. I oh, love it. And it does not get old. Um, Joy, go ahead. Hi, Patrick. How Hi. are you? Good. How are you doing? My question, I have my one question mm -hmm. is. On Instagram, and you go to follow people, and sometimes it says following, and then other times it says requested. Does they your a, they, have a, they have a private profile when you've requested? Understood. Yeah. Should I be hitting requested or just skip them and go right to the people who I can follow it's, immediately? It's, it's the flip of a coin. It's the flip of a coin. So if you if you feel strongly about the profile, I would. If you're like, eh, then just move on. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Joy. Because you got to remember, like you know, a lot of times those private people are the ones that buy, so they could be they could be good follows that way. All right, Mark, go ahead. Hey, Patrick, how are you? Good. How you doing? I am doing all right. Um, so real quick on 
on the website, I know that it seems like I'm that it's capped out at four galleries. Is there a reason why it's four? Yeah, we is that right, Juan? Do we know if that's right? I, I, and I don't I don't know if that's right. Because it's bugging my need for asymmetry, and I prefer six, but that's just me. I, there's no way that we can. Do it. Sorry about that. What was the question, Pat? We can have more than four galleries, right? Yeah, we can. For yeah, sure. you can have way more. We can have right? multiple. Yeah. Maybe you're I go in about and how it looks like I'm capped at four, and I, w I would like to get six, but oh, oh, yeah, open a ticket. We, I, I know we have some yeah. limits on it, but that's just so people don't put too many damn options up there, and then no one buys anything because there's just too many things to look at. Right, um, right, right. You know, it's like it's not supposed to be a stock image photography site, right? It's like supposed to be a little bit tighter than that. Just general rule of thumb, but I know we can do up to six. You got, you got to open okay. a ticket. Put them in the tech room. Honestly, there's, it's, it's got to be a homepage restriction with this site because there's no way that you're limited to that. No chance. Okay. And are you we'll still it. taking appointments to do an Instagram uh, profile review? I'm going to do that, but it'll be whatever session it is um, that I, that I actually decided to do it. Hopefully next Thursday. Um, Trying to think when the damn summit is. We got to get used, ready for that too. I'm I have a I have a notorious habit of shooting my mouth off about when I'm going to do something next week, and then <laughs> by the time next week gets around, I don't do it. So I'm trying to stop doing that. Um, but I'm just going to do it on the fly. Whenever that session is, I will try to announce it, and then it's just going to be take them as they go, as many as possible. Okay. okay. Thanks. Yeah. All right, Linda, you're up next. Go ahead, Linda. Okay. Let me get this. Great. Hi. Um, so I came in late, I'll watch the, the green screen how to, but I have a question, you know, I'm posting reels mm -hmm. and then I go to look at the, um, insights mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, there's three people that watched it. And then you go down below and it says the total amount of time watched and mm -hmm. the average time. Mm -hmm. So people aren't, you know, it's like, okay, that's Linda. Bam. Okay. That's Linda. Bam. Who so they're you, not, who told you to look at those numbers? Do not look at those numbers. There's no looking at those numbers, right? And, you know, the point is why I get fired up on that and why all, I, the only insights thing that I really want you to care about is the number of pieces of content created per week is exactly this situation, right? When you, when you look at those things, it instantaneously takes you off of your A, -A, -A game and the number of yeah, pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the only, way, the only way to get there, honestly, is by by actually creating and like going at it and like really pushing through that's number one number two okay. i don't give a shit about any of those metrics because i know for for what we do at art storefronts and it's the exact same for you all it takes is the right message to the right person one person to buy one original and it's ten thousand times as valuable is is a million views or five hundred thousand views or five thousand views or whatever like you know can we, I, go ahead can i ask the question yeah okay because this is all backstory so, wouldn't it make sense to post my question in the caption that goes with the reel? Yeah, you can. See, those are the, the, these are I mean, these are all the, the things that you would answer just by shipping and doing. That's that's exactly my point. Yeah, hundred percent, you could do that. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, because if you're not going to look at the reel, at least look at the caption and and if it's posed well because or interesting or yeah. whatever, because they see kind of what's going on. Yeah. Okay, um, and then. Uh, um the emails i think i know the answer in this emails in addition to copilot mm -hmm. there's you know you have those blank ones but then i still have to go back and use the mailchimp one that i don't I'm know on... that oh, I don't. Okay. yeah yeah tech question i don't know okay yeah. thank you yeah you're welcome nice I, to be here. and i and i like i like i, I like your idea about that a, a lot linda because we put captions on all of our on all of our videos for the most part because some people just don't listen they don't, right? And so, like, when they can, when they can read, when they can read the actual caption itself, like they're, you know, then then you catch them, and a, a lot of people are doing that. It's it's just different strokes for different folks. But stop looking at those nonsense stats. Stop looking at them. Um, I muted you, Linda, so I can't hear it anymore. Um, but I think everyone should try that. Do do the do, do you know from time to time put a caption or put a a a an, an actual question in there. But okay, Jonathan, go ahead. Hey, uh, you already answered the question with John M uh, about the newsletter, mm -hmm. but do you have any like advice for like frequency on how to do that? Like once a week, once a month, oh, yeah, you don't you want don't, to you, people. You, you don't want to ask me for frequency. Do you, I mean, do you see how many emails we send in our storefronts? It's terrible. I love it. That's terrible. You don't want to ask me about frequency. Once a week, <laughs> is, once a week is like a good cadence to start out with. Right. Okay. And then when you get to once a week, you can adjust from there. And I don't think once a week is bothersome in the slightest. Okay. General, and like, do you do, 
do you have any suggestions on like what to write about or what to send out? One, make sure you send it out. Two, okay. figure out what's not going to be that burden on your to-do list, okay, and drag you down. And then three, like, you know, story tell a little bit, show some of your newest work, show your process, show what you're interested in, show what's cracking, all, all, all those types of things. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Thank you. Check, check, check the link in chat, Jonathan. I sent you the Roman's Marketing Playbook. There's a lot of ideas in there. Awesome. Um, all right. I'm, I try to prioritize the people that didn't answer questions yet. Muffy has, Terry has. So I'm going to do Marlene, then I'm going to do Cindy, and then I'll circle back. Go ahead, Marlene. Okay. Mike, can you hear me? Yeah, sure can. Okay. So, um, hi, how you doing? Good. I uh, have a very quick question. Please. Can Juan, can Juan send me a link, please, to do a calendar? I'm doing everything, but I keep forgetting to do the calendar. And I looked and I couldn't find the calendar that we make ourselves, you know, mm -hmm. in mean, how, how to make the calendar of our work. Yeah. Got it. Juan, you know what that is? Yep, that's how to offer self-fulfilled calendars. I'm putting the link in chat in a few. Awesome. Thank you. That's what I need. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Okay, next up is Cindy. Go ahead, Cindy. Hi, I just wanted to say hi. It's my first time, so uh -huh. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm watching. <laughs> that 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 is all good. The I don't know what I'm doing persists at least for a couple of years. <laughs> oh. I know what doing but i don't know what i'm doing here i'm just learning from you guys well good how's you, that is that a better statement that's much better but i but i wasn't joking when i said it it's like you know we, we we always joke like i'm overwhelmed i don't know what to do this is all so crazy and i'm like yeah that's uh that's normal for years that's normal for years but how did you find the first session did you find it to be valuable well the, yeah i'm just i a lot of the stuff i do but i i'm taking notes my biggest question was i literally have three appointments that or one appointment at three different times. So I'm trying to get help with that because it's, I don't know if it's a time zone or what. Yeah. Tech support or, or scheduling question above my pay grade. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. But, good advice though. I really appreciate hearing everybody and following. Awesome. It's good stuff. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome aboard, Cindy. Love it. All right, Evelyn, and then we're going to finish with Muffy and Terry and that'll be a day. Hey there. So glad to be on with you. It's first time talking to you. Nice. Okay. So I'm trying to pivot because the hearts have been, I do a lot of hearts, but uh, they haven't been selling a hundred percent, you know, a lot on the website. So I thought, okay, what, what can I do my niche? So I started to uh, get into doing some pet portraits and um, I got my first commission. So that's exciting. Nice. And now I don't know, like, do I put a, a link how do i do it on my website do i add another page to it or I just yeah i would I, I would add it i would add just a commissions tab and a simple form fill out there and and i have a commissions tab on my on my page i do decorative paint i paint on people's walls and floors and stuff like that oh, cool. so i have a commissions tab so yeah. do i just put, just add pet portraits yes 100 yeah 100 percent. and don't 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 assume that they'll just figure it out automatically like get that get those first couple ones in there right like definitely, you know, let people know exactly, right? Don't make me think like, okay, you're doing the floors, show me the damn floors. Are you doing the walls? Show me the walls, a couple examples, and then now show me the pets. Right, so on the commission page, I have a whole bunch of wall finishes and the floors, some murals that I've done and, you know, just examples of stuff I've done. Yeah. Uh, so do the same thing just put up pictures of yes. dogs 100 percent. i mean I, I would set the page up that like some language some bullet points on all the things you do and then a couple of photos just to kind of let me know what those things look like 100 percent. that's what i would do can i put video on that on oh, the yeah. commission oh yeah all day all day but don't don't just put video you know put the combination of all three a little bit of text some images some video love it is there a um a link to how to add video to the website I think it's just YouTube. I think it's just YouTube. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't mean it that way. I mean, the only videos that we allow are YouTube. I don't know if that's right or not, Juan. You're going to have to ask tech supports. No. And I have to put my the video on YouTube and then put yes. it onto the Yeah, yeah, website. yeah. That's what I think, but I don't know. Don't I, You can't ask me the tech support questions. I'm worthless. <laughs> Okay. I just yeah. thought it was funny because you said everything is active on YouTube. Yeah. Got it. That is for 
everything in life trying to figure out how to do things for how to do the things on the art storefronts website then you open a ticket or you get put in the tech room got it yeah okay thanks so much love asf thank all you right. <laughs> thanks Alan. all right terry go ahead me terry okay you, yes yes you i see it now. there's usually more than one terry so <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. My, that's right. So you, this is your first question. I'm sorry. I confused you with Terry. No, it, is, it isn't. No, there was another Terry and she, I, I've asked a, a question already, but um, it was just real quick, real quick one. My question might be a tech question. It has to do with the newsletter. Mm -hmm. I, it's, uh, my, I screwed up my first newsletter because I didn't hit the on button. Mm -hmm. I got that figured out. I'm trying to do the second newsletter. Can I? change the date it has a date listed on the co-pilot page can i change that date so it doesn't wait till 9 15 to go out oh yeah. great question they can one yes you can yes you can terry you want me to put you in a co-pilot room so they do it for yes. you yes please sounds good you got it boom thank Done. you thank you um all right muffy Clo All right, you're closing uh, us out, Muffy. You better I come know, cooking. You better come cooking with gas, Muffy. Yeah, well, I just came from Tech Room because of the Margaritaville thing. Mm -hmm. And people who uh, made comments that they really wanted my artwork wanted it on a mug. So yep. I uploaded the image. I tried it out on the mug, and it really needs two printings of it on each, you know, one print on each side in order for it to work. Mm -hmm. And I asked Tech about it, and they said they can't do it. They mm. said that I would have to put it up as a separate product, a merch product, and then, you know, go from there. But because I'm confused because I want to be able to put a direct link on the reply to these people so they could just go and click right on the product and buy it. Yeah. I, in terms of formatting the image, I'm above my pay grade there. I would say, yeah. you know, I can format the image, but it's just they're telling me that. I shouldn't put it up as a separate product. Yeah, I'm totally confused. Yeah. Juan, do you know how to answer this question? Not really. Well, they told we me I'd be confused. better off having it printed locally than having... Nah, yeah, but you're not going to get that done. And to be honest with you, every single solitary minute the, the clock is ticking, uh, uh, it is becoming old news, sadly, because that's the world that we live in, despite the fact right. that Buffett is a legend. So I would get it up immediately, however you're going to get it up, and don't overthink it. Okay, so you think I should just go somewhere else and get it printed? No, I think you should just figure out a way to shoehorn it in there, however you do it. Get it done. Okay, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. We'll do. All okay, right. thank you. Okay, you're welcome, Ralphie. All right, Taylor, you got one in at the last minute. Now, Taylor's definitely the last one. Okay, it's a quick one. Okay. Um, I'm building out my site still, and I was working on the newsletter submission form section. Mm -hmm. And when how long, I... How long, how long have you been building the site out? Uh... Probably like three weeks. Okay. We need to get this thing done though. Taylor, we need to get this thing. We need to get this thing done. I know. I know. I'm so close. All right. It's really All right. close. All right. Um, there's a, a section where you can apply contacts to segments. Currently, my setting says that contact is checked or sorry, newsletter is checked, but contact isn't. And I didn't quite understand what the difference was. It said something like, this is a super useful tool for delineating, but I don't understand exactly what I'm delineating with that. Well, I love that you use the word delineating. I love the word that we have the word delineating even in our software, but I have no, no idea how to answer that question. Um, to <laughs> total, total tech support question. You can go in there, but there's, it looks like there's six in line and one 11 on the other, maybe five. I don't know. Do you want to go in there and ask them and get it answered right now? I mean, you are here right now. Yes, that All would right. be great. In she goes. Um, guys, thank you. Um, good session today. I enjoyed it. Tried to keep it moving. Thanks for the compliment, Gretchen. I appreciate that. I saw that. Um, what else? That's it. Get answering the questions. And like, look, reach out to one another. Let's all fake it till we make it, okay? If you're not getting any comments on the reels, ask a friend for some help and take a couple of shots, you guys. It You, you, you get better at it and then genuinely play experiment with how to ask for the questions you got to ask them